Dear students, now today under adjusted entries, we are going to talk about how we are going to record VAT. So when goods or services are sold, they are going through one or more stages before reaching the end customer. In the case of goods, these stages would include the raw material purchase, manufacturing, distribution, retailing and finally the purchase customer. The government charge VAT or the value added tax during each stages and if a particular product or service has many steps from the production to the sale, there will be more stages where VAT can be charged. Normally depending on the point the VAT is charged, we can categorize into two ways. First one, output VAT. And the next one is the input VAT. So output VAT is where when we are selling goods to the clients, right? When it's going out of the business, we are going to charge this output VAT. So what do you mean by the input tax? So input tax is where when we are going to take the raw materials or when we are going to purchase things for the company, Right? What we are going to incur. This is concerned as the input VAT. So what is the main advantage for the company is if the company is registered under CGIR, Commissioner General of Inland Revenue, for the VAT, they can claim back the VAT they are paid for the purchases. This is a benefit for the company. So, if not, we are unable to recover the VAT payment. So, there are so many types of VAT rates. Standard rates and zero rate. Right? Standard rate is normally for the goods and services. Right? We are charging 8% and for the financial services such as leasing, then banking, we are going to charge 15%. And government has included the zero rate for the direct exports good for outside the Sri Lanka. Then certain products are exempted for the VAT. So by going through this schedule, you can identify what are the things which has been exempted for the VAT. So as I mentioned you earlier, the output tax percentage is normally for the retail companies are 8%. So, for each quarter, even though the customer has not paid the, the VAT, we have to pay that amount for the yielded revenue. Right? So, the price of the product is the cost plus the VAT. We are going to charge it from the customer. Right? Then what is the double entry? So the amount from the customer is we are going to debit for the customer if it's on credit basis. If the customer pay in cash, we are going to credit it to the debit it to the cash account. Then the relevant amount of the transaction we are going to credit to the sales account and the VAT we have to transfer to the VAT output account. Then let's look at the VAT input. So this input tax is paid when we are going to purchase it from the supplier. So the purchase price is sum up with the cost plus this input tax. So when we are going to purchase goods from the supplier, the way we are going to account is as follows. We are going to debit the purchases with the relevant amount and we are going to debit the VAT input as well because this is an expense. Then what we are going to pay for the relevant supplier, we are going to credit the cash or bank account. If we are going for the credit purchase basis, we are going to credit the supplier account. Then within the period, the net Difference of the input and output VAT 
we have to charge and we have to send it to the government. So, in a summary, you can see this is in three categories. Input VAT, output VAT and net VAT payable. So, now let's look at a sum. So, in 1st of January, 30th January 2017, we have purchased a total product $1,000 plus 150 VAT as input. Right? So, tell me what is the total cost we are going to purchase? That is 1150 So, we have to predict and we have to pay it to the supplier. So, the double entry would be the purchase has to be debit 1000, the input VAT has to be debit 1500 and we have to credit the total 1150 to the supplier. Then what will happen if you are going to sell? The selling amount is 4,000 plus 600 VAT for the transaction. Right? So, the 4,000 is the total payment, total sales. Then, we are going to debit that total sales. To the sales account, we are going to credit it. The total amount we are receiving is 4,600, we are going to debit our cash book or we can debit our debtor. Then we are going to credit the net sales value to the sales account as well as we are going to credit the output VAT account by this 600. So you can clearly see this debit and credit entries as follows. So, the net change here is 450. So, this amount has to be paid to the government to settle our VAT. 